Hey everybody, this is Brian with Virtual Club. We're gonna do something a little different today. We're gonna do logic puzzles. Now you may be thinking that's boring, but remember, logic puzzles are one of the foundational math skills. So what a great way to engage in math and learn math, especially during these summer months. So a couple things to remember as we do this. So one of the biggest math principles you need to know is if and then. Now what's if and then you say? So here's an example. If something is true, then something else is true. It's a logical connection. So one example that you'll find out in high school, and I know most of you are younger than high school, but is a really cool principle, you can Google it, called the transitive property. And what that means is this. If A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. If, then, that's logic. So today we're gonna do logic puzzles and put your brains to the test. Let me show you one. So we're gonna start with a pretty straightforward one. So let's start with the hands, this top row. What we've got is hands plus hands plus hands equals 36. If the hands are the same and we know what they are, then all we have to do is take 36 and divide it by three. And so you might need some help doing this, but if we know that these three numbers are the same, what three numbers that are the same when added together equal 36? And a quick division problem will tell you that the answer is 12. So hands equals 12. That allows us to go to the next one. So now we know that those hands are 12. So 12 plus a book plus a book equals 28. How do we figure that out? So the first thing we want to do is got to get rid of the hands. Just like an algebra problem, which you learn about in middle school. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take the hands, 12, and subtract that from 28. 28 minus 12 equals 16. So if the book is the same, which we know it is, what plus what equals 16 if it's the same number? Is it four plus four? No, that equals eight. Or six plus six? No, that equals 12. Eight plus eight? That equals 16. So we know that the book is eight. So we are almost there now that we know that the book is eight. So if the book is eight, this last equation is maybe one of the easiest ones to figure out because eight minus what equals three? What is that cap? What number is it? And if you think about it for a while and do some work on it, you'll realize that eight minus five equals three. So the cap equals five. Hands equals 12, book equals eight, cap equals five. You've used logic to figure out the answer to each of these equations. So now it's time for you to try one on your own. When you get the right answer, and you might need some help and that's okay, but when you get the right answer, take a photo of yourself with it or send the answer sheet to our email for Virtual Club and we're excited to see your work and that you're learning throughout the summer.